let's learn about Pythagorean triplets. 3, 4, 5 is the most common Pythagorean triplet. There are many uses of Pythagorean triplets in real life. Let's explore them. We will prove it through origami. Origami is an art of paper folding. To prove this triplet, we shall be using a 16 unit square grid. Let's take a square piece of paper and make it into two equal rectangles as shown and further bisect these two new rectangles also breadthwise. So that we have divided the square into four equal rectangles. We got three vertical lines. Now let's divide on the other side also into four equal rectangles forming the horizontal creases. Now the square will be divided into 16 equal squares in it. So each side of the square is divided into four equal parts. Now let's identify the corner and name it as four units. Each one is of one unit, so totally it is four units. On the other side, let's take three units only and we're going to try to prove the Pythagorean triplet 3, 4, 5. So we have taken four and three units on the two sides which form the 90 degrees. So this we're going to prove on a right angle triangle. And now joining those two points, the ends of three units and four units making a crease between those two points we will be getting the hypotenuse of the triangle. Here is our right angled triangle in which we know two sides three and four. Now let's measure the third side hypotenuse. We have highlighted that and in the origami method, let's try to measure the length of the hypotenuse formed. Overlap the base, which is of four units length, onto the hypotenuse and mark it. You can either pinch it to mark or with a pen, you can put a point there. So part of the hypotenuse we have measured, it is of four units up to that point. Now what is the length of the left over? It's exactly matching with the last unit left on the other side. Let's see, as we have marked three units, one unit is left over. This measure is of four units. And now this leftover is of one unit. Overlap that one unit length onto this and it is exactly matched with the point. So the leftover of the hypotenuse is of one unit. Making the total length of the hypotenuse as five units. So with this simple paper folding, we have proved the Pythagorean triplet. Of three, four, five. So happy folding of yours.